Hiya folk. <clears throat> just coming on we I was just having a wee play so I thought I would just come along and film it as I was going along. Um I'm just gonna be open a few of these wee tiny flowers. Um and they're fantastic for um basically any project if I'm honest. I'm not really restrictive to any one project or whatever. This is just um, clear beauty and I'm just sitting it in there, giving it a wee shake about and then pulling it out. And I'll sit that there a minute to decide what colour I'm putting on it. Um, red, so I might put a bit of yellow in the centre. Right, so I'm just putting my heat gun up. I might need to dip this twice, but that's fine. So just heat it up, let the heat gun warm up first. And because it's warm, I won't need any more embossing powder. I just need to dip it straight back in and do it again. Okay. And then to add a wee bit of colour, all I need to do is just grab a wee scoop of other embossing powder and just place it in the middle and I'll just turn this around so you can see and then you just keep that up and you'll find it just blends out because of the beauty on it there you go see it blended out um, and then just before it um, sets on your tweezers, you just peel it off. Arr! Not a great video today. <laughs> um, and then while it's still pliable, you can actually mould it into the shape of whatever flower you want. So that's just that shape. And that can put a wee flat back petal in there and that should get a, a flower centre. Where that pliers have been, pliers, tweezers have been, there's a wee nick at the corner there if you see. So what I'm going to do is just heat that up again and that will melt out and cover again. Hopefully. Maybe not. I can dip it in a wee bit. Come on. Okay. Is that my work? I I'm quite close in here to try and get it melt faster. That's how 
And that should get one wee flower. Um, I'll do one of the wee pale pink ones now. Oops, it is. And as you've seen the other day, I just topped this up with glycerin. Um, and it works absolutely fine. It's the exact same stuff they use for making the embossing. I'm sure of it. But we pay a fortune for it over here. In fact, I think they do abroad as well. But the UK, prices we pay for crafts in the UK is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely. Um, it's quite shocking actually, the amount. Mm. So, dipped it in the UK and then we just heat it up. Back, make sure that it's covered, and then quickly dip it in again. Make sure it's fully coated, and heat it up again. And just do the back to make sure that it's melted properly. And again, another small, and it is just a tiny amount of yellow in the centre. You don't need to be exact, and then just heat it up. And it just gives your flower a two tone look. Like that. See if I can sharpen that up a bit for you when it folds. You can see that there. I mean, it is really glossy. Um, and I'm going to try and get this off, but it won't come off. So I'll heat it up a wee bit so I'll just loosen the grip on it. There we go. Scroll over and again. So what I'll do there is just give it a wee heat just to me in case there's any wee catches on it. There we go. And again, once it's um cool enough to work with you can then mould it. Just be careful because it, because it's beauty, it is absolutely roasting. It will give you a nasty, nasty burn if you do it too early. But when it's um, pliable enough, just dip your finger into the centre of it and it will hold its shape. Um, I'll show you a few of them last night. Um, that's as far away as you again. Oh. Um, where are they? Yeah. This is one that I done last night with Beauty and um you butterflies. That one's quite um vintage looking. I've used old paper um distress ink, but if you notice under it there's a script stamp. The script stamp is put down with frayed burlap. 
Um, and it just gives a nice effect. These are wings of butterflies that I will merge together for a project. And that was using Cosmic Shimmer embossing powders. Um, this one is a mishmash of embossing powders from Cosmic Shimmer with beauty over the top of it. So it's really, really, it is almost glass like. And I mean, I'll show you with this one because I would, I would be doing this anyway, but you can actually give it a crack effect. Oops. Just watch your eyes when you're doing it. <laughs> um, but you can crack the beauty and it gives you a really old vintage look. Um, and I'll just show you that up close if I just pick the camera. There you go. So you can see the cracks in it. And it, honestly, it's such an easy way to do it. Just dip it in your beauty a few times so you've got a really thick coating on it. And then just crack it. Um, this one was done on black card with a script stamp of embossing powder. And then I used, I think it was... Holly leaf. It's one of the cosmic shimmer ones, and the aurora of it is absolutely stunning. A beautiful, beautiful um, one. This one I done the other day when I was doing a box to see how the mix for my shabby chic embossing powder was. Um, which turned out lovely. And then the other side I used clear, uh, clear um, embossing ink and then I went over it with blue raspberry cosmic shimmer embossing powder and you'll notice there's a blue tint to I'll see if I can do it this way. There's a almost, there you go. There's a blue pearl to it. Gorgeous, and I can cut out a butterfly or whatever just with that bottom pit of the cab, or I could use it as an ATC. It is actually an ATC cab, and just put something else up the top here. Oops, sorry, I'm out of shot. Put something else up the top here, and then use that as a background image. Uh, honestly, they just the ideas are endless with the embossing. Uh, let me see what else I've got here that I can use it on. Try to see. I've got more butterflies under here actually. Moving out without causing a riot. And I'll just show you what I mean. There we go, there's a different sheet one actually. <laughs> so I'm just going to push these out the way now. Close that yellow one over and I'll pull out a different colour. Oops, melted my lid a wee bit there. Not so great. Might need to decant that into a different tub. Mm. Yeah, maybe decant that. Right, so what have I got in here? Let me see. I have got 
nice blue. A nice green. And this the red yellow. We'll see how this goes. Right, so just sticking it in there. And I'm just going to pull over my wee bit of a heat proof sheet thing. Move that out the road. And I'm just going to sprinkle this over it actually. Right. Oops, it is it. That's why I've got them in the tub so I don't waste it. Because oh. my UT is actually a big, big tub. I think it's 600 grams or something on it. Um, but I would just be constantly picking up. This off and tip it back into the dish with one hand. How much fun is that? Have it we shake on the floor and then we just heat it up. And I'm just going to splatter another layer on there. And do the same as I've done, just tip it off. And put it back in the tub. And then just heat it up again. And what I'm going to do is just to stop it going that bendy way, is just straighten it out a wee bit. Okay. And then what we're doing is, and this is the fun bit, Let's see if I can. Here we are. Right. So we've got a beautiful blue look at the colour of that. Stunning. Um and then we just give that a wee blast for air. Just to soften it a wee bit. Heat it up. And then you just take a wee scoop and you just Sprinkle it on and then just heat it up. And because there's rooty under it, it will dissolve, but it'll also blend. If you watch it, it will start blending out. If 
fabulous. Um, and again, I'm just going to go in and straight in the middle of that. And I'm doing it in the middle because I will obviously be putting something else down the centre. So I'm not that fussed that there's not any embossing in the centre. Right, and then we'll go in with some of the red, I think. This is a lot chunkier. Okay. And there's touches of yellow through it as well. So we just sprinkle a wee bit on there. A wee bit on there. And then the back. And if you didn't have the clear beauty under it, it wouldn't blend as well. It would blend, but just not move around as much. Alright, and then I'm just going to put oops, a wee touch of the yellow, eh, the green, sorry. And this is another really pretty green, and it's called Malachi Fire Aurora. And I'm putting a fair bit of this on because I really like this one. And you'll see it when it heats up. It just, it's stunning. And as I said, it just blends out because there's so much powder on it. And if you see, look at that. And then just lift it before it sets properly. But be careful because it'll be really warm. And you've got that. Which I think is super pretty. And then you just, whoops, see, centre there. So I'll just heat that bit up. Just to melt it back out again. I must have just touched it with my finger a wee bit. There you go. But you'll see, it is just super pretty. And if you're putting that on a project, how stunning is it? I mean, look at the colours on it. And the colours I used there were, let me see, Lapis, Lapis, Lapis Sapphire Luster. I used Tropic Red, which is a UT style, really thick. And then this one was Malachi Fire Aurora. So go have a play. Pull out your embossing powders. Pull out some die cuts that you don't use very often. And have a play. Just see what you can come up with. I mean there's all different ones. Um, and as I said you can snap them to get them an aged look. That's still quite pliable because it's not long done. But like this one, this was done yesterday, you can actually snap into the oops. <laughs> you can snap into the goodie. And if it's not what you like, go ahead, melt it down and it will soften up again and move.
that wee bit that popped off, that will soon blend back out. There you go. You've got it blended out. Done. So there's never a mistake when you're embossing. Just have a go. Play. Because those powders, 90% of them sit in with stash. And don't get used when you can make some beautiful embellishments put in with them um, racks. Let someone else use them if you want. Let them pass them on for art journaling. These are great. So have a wee look through your stash and play. Alright, thanks for watching. Speak soon. Bye.